Hey guys, Cody here. Coming back with another Fabrication Friday. So this week I'm gonna go ahead and try and finish up the rest of the tank. So I need to go ahead and put a top on it. I need to make the mounting bracket to where it can go into the monster mower itself. And I need to also, I was thinking I might wanna make a fuel drain. So I'm gonna take one of these uh, stainless steel nuts, the little 3816, drill a hole in it, go ahead and weld it in, probably right beside the um, outlet for the fuel to go to the motor. But last week I made my little uh, adapter so the fuel line can go on to, and I welded in the inlet, and I have a cap. So that's what I've got going on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, set up to drill a hole to weld a nut on and uh, start going from there. So I was thinking about putting my nut for a fuel drain right here, but now I'm not so sure I wanna put it there because if I have the thing sitting in the monster like this, that makes it really hard to get to the drain bolt. And I also don't wanna be draining gasoline all over my transmission when I um, have to drain the tank, if I have to drain the tank. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go right up into this corner right here and put it there. That way it'll be easier when it's in the back of the mower to, to get to it and it'll also be easier to um, catch the fuel when it drains. Alright, so word to the wise. If you're ever trying to drill stainless by hand, make sure you go slow and use lots of oil because stainless will destroy a drill bit in a heartbeat if you're not careful. So I've got my pilot hole drilled. I've stepped it up once and now I'm gonna go ahead and step it up to it's a little bit bigger than three eighths. Alrighty, so I have my hole drilled. I have it cleaned up and I have the metal ground to where I have a clean welding surface for when I actually put this or try to weld this nut on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stainless steel nut. I'm gonna pop it right there about like that. I'm gonna weld it on so then I can take my bolt, just screw it in, and that gives me a good drain plug. Um, probably wrap the bolt in Teflon or something so it doesn't leak, but or put like a gasket or something around it, like a little O-ring washer. But the problem is, is if I tack this and I don't have this nut perfectly centered above the hole, when I go to screw this in, it's not gonna go all the way through and I'm not gonna be able to tighten it down. So how, how I think I'm gonna try and overcome this is I'm going to uh, put a nut on this and have it screwed in and then I'm gonna actually put it through the bolt where it stays centered and then tack it all together and then I can just unscrew the bolt when it's done. Alrighty, so I just take the entire nut all the way around. Um, it looks like it'll be pretty watertight. The bolt is probably pretty hot at the moment so I am going to go ahead and not try and pull that out yet. But now since I have my drain plug and I have all the little gizmos and stuff that I'll need, I can go ahead and finish welding the rest of the tank together. After I get that, then I'm just down to making a mounting bracket. But before I put the top on, I'm going to go ahead and probably take the tank outside, wash it out really well, just make sure I don't have any crud in there, just because stuff might have accidentally popped in there. And then I'll go ahead and finish welding everything up. So let me go ahead and go wash this thing real quick. Best way to wash a tank. Fill it up with some water, swoosh it around. Water's hot. Swish it around some more. I don't know why I'm doing this right above the concrete instead of putting the water on the grass. Grass probably needs it, but. See how the fuel fill works? Gets me wet. <laughs> Whew, it's warm out here. But anyways, I got to go ahead and make a top piece for this. But as you can see, I have a little bit of a crack running up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a C-clamp or something and squeeze these things together. Go ahead and weld that up to where it's not, the crack's not there pretty much. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my grinder, trim up the sides, lay a piece on top, 
welded in and then it's pretty much ready just to get some brackets made for it so it can mount in. So this is the setup, figured out how to push this back in line and now just ready to get welded up. I'll probably put a substantial tack on it first and then go ahead and lay a bead on it. So, have you ever had one of those moments where you know that what you just did can only happen to you? So, I have this bottom nut welded in, and I put a bolt through it to make sure I got the hole squared. And I took the nut off on the inside, but yet the bolt is stuck. So now... And I end up reaming the head off the bolt. Like, here's the top of it. So, I got to figure out how to get that out of the gas tank before I can go any further. But I don't want to destroy these threads because then everything I did was useless. So, I am going to try and fight this battle real quick. After I get that done, then I'll weld the top on because there's no sense in welding the top on. Because if I get this undone, then it's just rattling around in the tank, and that doesn't help me any. So, anyways, I'm back stuck doing this, so. <sighs> Alright, so. I got the bolt that I stuck in there out. There's the top half. Here's the bottom half. And I don't know if you can tell, but you see these little coils on the top of this thing? Well, that's the thread inside this nut. Which means now, this nut right here is completely useless. I think where I went wrong is I probably should have taken the bolt out after I tack welded the um, the nut in instead of keeping the bolt in while I welded all the way around. I think the bolt or the nut heating up um, kind of made the bolt stick to it and put me in this predicament. But it's not a total loss. Um, instead of trying to cut this out and try and do it again. I think what I'm going to do is just weld another nut on top of this one. Or, well, first I'll drill the holes out, or the threads out of this one. Weld another nut on top of this one. And after I tack it, I'll actually take the bolt out this time. The problem is I don't have a grinder that doesn't have a um, sanding pad on. So I don't have a good way to get the top off without, you know, destroying anything. But that's where I'm at at the moment. So we'll go ahead and drill this nut out. Luckily, I have an extra one or two. Weld one on top, 
and hopefully that will complete this part of it so I can flip the thing over and actually weld a top on. How I got the bolt out of here is I sprayed a little bit of liquid wrench into it, let it sit for about five minutes, and then I took from the inside these pair of vice grips, clamped down on it, and then slowly worked it. And after I got it loose, I kind of went back and forth a little bit. And I just kept doing that until I progressively got the entire um, stud or this little piece worked out. It took about 15 minutes or so to do it. And I was hoping I'd still have threads left in it, but since I don't, what can you do? So, Alrighty guys, so my attempt at drilling the nut out failed. Um, I got about three quarters of the way through and then basically just hit a wall because I'm pretty sure the threads or that little bit of a metal hardened and all I did was destroy a drill bit. Not good, but what can you do? So I'm resorting to plan B. I'm taking this little ziz wheel. And my goal is to try and cut all the way around the weld, get the nut out of there, go ahead and grind off, make it to where it was like it was never there, and then do the same thing I did with this one again, and then hopefully I'll have a drain plug and not screw it up this time. Alrighty, so I finally got the uh, thing cut off. Man, was that a challenge. So now I just need to go ahead and finish flattening this back out. That was a lot of work trying to get that stupid little nut bolt thing off. As you can tell, the metal's a little thing. I'm probably gonna clean up just a little bit more, but I'm gonna go ahead and then uh, take another one. I'm gonna tack weld it on. Then I'm gonna pull the bolt back out. All right guys, so I didn't get as far along with this project as I was hoping to. I ran into some issues being this little bolt right here, but I got my new one welded in. It looks like it'll work just fine, but I got to go ahead and get back to school here in a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a quits for today. I'll come back next week and weld a top on and make the mounting bracket and probably put it in the cup, clean it up, might polish it or something. I'm not sure what I want to do, but that's all I got for you. So if you like this video, Go ahead and give it a like down below if you like my channel and want to see more content. Give me a subscribe and um, I guess I'll catch you guys later. See ya!